Tonight, the race for the state's high court. The four candidates Monday on the same stage in what will be an incredibly high profile, expensive and political campaign. Politics is poison to the work of the court. The candidates, conservatives Daniel Kelly and Jennifer Doro, and liberals Everett Mitchell and Janet Protasewicz, all attempting to distance themselves from politics, all insisting on judicial fairness. Well, first and foremost, my integrity cannot be bought by anyone. As tonight, both state political parties and outside groups prepare to spend millions on a race that will determine the balance of the state's high court. Wisconsinites deserve a court where there's not a thumb on the scale. You don't ask them, are you Republican, are you Democrat, are you Green Party, are you Independent? The winner will replace retiring Justice Patience Rogensack, a conservative and part of the court's four to three conservative majority, who today endorsed Doro. What do you make of how political these races uh, have become? You know, I think it's too bad. I think it's too bad. And with that, did you have concern in, in endorsing in this race, given the political nature of these races? Well, you know, I don't think Jennifer is a particularly political player. All the candidates tonight touting endorsements from law enforcement, prosecutors and politicians statewide. The governor this weekend down up front telling us he'll likely not get involved. Are you going to endorse in this upcoming race in April? Not planning, not planning on it, but uh, certainly not in the primary for sure. The race is nonpartisan. The top two winners of the February primary, no matter their political or judicial philosophy, will advance to the spring election in April. In Madison, I'm Matt Smith, WISN 12 News. The political news site was politics hosted today's forum. The primary is February 21st. The general election is April 4th.